So, went out and got lucky on Marketplace the other day, and I got a radar gun. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of standalone electronics. Um, now I really didn't buy a radar gun, I bought a radar system, front, back, all that. Came up on Marketplace, I bought that and the cage like you saw in the other video. Hopefully that'll be going in soon also. I'm not going to need too many tools, I'm just going to need some nut drivers and stuff of that nature to run this. but. Let me show you what I got. This is a Decatur Genesis 2 Select, according to that. Um, got that. It's got, I put these on, but it's got the faceplate here. All the wires, I mean, it plugs into a 12 volt outlet. It's all pretty user friendly. Um, it's a lot nicer than the other one I have. The other one is also a Decatur unit, but it's an older unit than this so this will be interesting to try but i've got to get this into that and it came out of an 06 so it should bolt right in so the first thing i'm going to do is we're going to put this in the tools will be minimal this has already been in a crown vic once before so hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to put in so let me show you what we got to put in first the bracket here holds on the front unit and apparently it just clips in on the underside of this so let's take this off and uh, see how this clips on okay so I got it in but I did have to trim these little uh, these little armatures uh, and uh, yeah so I got it in got it trimmed and uh, now it has to go back up and it just bolts right back into the same spot it came out of and there you go just like that it's in I don't like how close this is but an inch or a mile it's in there um, so then this just literally just bolts up to this like this and you can move it in or out um, so let's get this in and see what that looks like now this thing does have a lot of adjustability to it so if you want it in a different location you can move it up or down or in or out truthfully i kind of wish this was a little smaller and more tucked this way but that's all i get with this um, i don't know how it's going to affect the dash cam but i guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it now the back one here according to the pictures i saw was mounted in the back next to the uh um, doggone it, was mounted in the back next to the brake light switch. Now here in the back seat, I'm really not too sure how I'm going to mount this because there is carpet back here. This was Velcroed in and uh, I'll show you where it was in the pictures. Pictures I got, it was sitting right here. Um, so I'm probably going to drop this down a little bit, but uh, I don't know what else I can do with that. Uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to run the wires back here, but I may forego mounting that until uh, I figure out exactly how it's going to sit. Well, I took the old Velcro strips off and something weird happened. Run on this and, uh, it's Velcroed itself to this here, so that might just stay. So now let's figure out the control box. Um, the control box is mounted to the, it's tied in together, so I'll just leave them. We need to figure out where to mount all of this. Um, well, we'll figure that out here in a minute. So in the pictures I got, this was mounted here. It actually fits right in here, but now I gotta figure out what to do with all of this and I think they had this mounted under here before but I'm actually going to mount it underneath uh, that. Uh, I'm going to mount it in the hole up there. Problems that you're going to have if you 
uh, you know, when you get under the dash and all that, is you're going to have to navigate around all this uh, stuff that the cops left in. The cops left a lot of stuff in. There's a lot of loose wiring I do not understand. And uh, so, this is where zip ties become your best friend. Because you actually don't want the wires hanging, so you can piggyback it off some other stuff. So let me uh, get the driver's side zip tied up, and then we'll worry about the passenger side a little later. Now, truthfully, I don't know where I'm going to mount this box yet. I need to run the wires uh, to the back and to that. I kind of want to stick it under the dash, but I need to, you know, mount all of this other stuff to it first. The thing is, that console is going to be going away here soon. And probably the majority of all of this uh, will be coming out to redo it. Um, I kind of want to do it right. A lot of it is done the best I could do, but I can do better uh, once I get some better equipment, which I'm looking into now. Uh, so we got the power here, and that will actually run into that power block uh, that's next. We take the radar detector out just because, well, a radar detector and a radar gun in the same vehicle is usually not a good idea. Uh, so, this is all the uh, uh, lines to the front and the back. So, let's get those mounted in and uh, we'll figure out how these are going to run. Okay, so we got the front end. We got it ran down here. And it's not going to be that hard. I mean... Actually, it's already plugged in. The one that's got me worried is the rear. Now, it is quite long, but I'm really worried about how I'm going to be able to get it all the way back and uh, whether I need to run it underneath the, uh, the rubber mat here or do I need to run it over the top. And uh, I think I'm going to try under the rubber mat, but if it's not long enough, I'm probably going to have to move the radar detector uh, antenna onto the passenger side instead of the driver's side. So let's uh, run this under the rubber mat and see what happens. So what you need to do in a situation like this is actually start at the radar detector and move back to the control box because you're going to want all your slack on that end. And uh, I think that right there will give us a good judge of where we need to mount the box. Truthfully, I think I'm probably just going to zip tie it up out of, out of sight. But we'll get to that. So, so we're going to go ahead and mount it in and then uh, run it all the way down to the control box that's, whoops, sitting on the floor right there. I apologize for the shadows and cameras and all that. Uh, we've had a very strange winter here in Kansas. It's been 60 and 70 degrees, but it's going to snow tomorrow. So, hey, whatever. Um, I wish I was making that up. So, let's get this run. And then, uh, once we get that and figure out where that's going, we can hook power up to it. And that'll be kind of neat. This run, I ran it under the seat belt, tucked it down here. Had to run it under this seat belt, too. Tucked it down through here. I've still got to tuck it. I got, to, oh, there we are. That's tucked. Ran it under this stuff here all through here and uh now it comes out right here it was really easy it, it this actually just kind of just pops up and you can really just slide it all the way so so here's the front that's hooked in so let me hook in the back and then uh, we'll get the other pieces now for all intents and purposes this is where it gets tricky now you would think because i got everything hooked up like the power the remote everything just snaps in I have to figure out where to set the remote and I've got to figure out how to run the wires. Now, but the main thing is, is I have to tuck all these wires and find a permanent place for the box. That's where it gets hard because I have to mount it on the passenger side and uh, I've got to find a way up to mount it uh, above the uh, footwell because I cannot leave any cords hanging because if there's a cord hanging anywhere in the western hemisphere red will find a way to get her feet caught in it so um, I know she just saw this and uh, she's probably called me a name right now but um, so I'm gonna actually 
plug it in and we're gonna see if it works before I tuck everything else in so I have it plugged in here now I got that plugged in there should be power um, well, I guess I need to put that up let me put that up and then we'll go over I'm not too sure how I'm gonna mount the box but whatever it is I'm sure there will be a lot of zip ties involved all right so let's hit the power switch nothing Oh, there it goes. All right, so that's pass, patrol, range. All right, so we got fast, we got vo, we got range. Let's see, front. Well, let's go rear. Okay, rear. Something started fuzzing. it's okay front I don't know what's making all that noise I think it's my CB ah something's fuzzing oh it, the noise is coming out of here so it's got a little speaker on it so that's pretty cool so that's working the noise is coming out of here so that's pretty cool um, little speaker um, so let's turn this off and we'll just unplug all of this and we'll go and get that box mounted up and all of the wires uh, up out of the way so let's see what we can do with that I'm sure it'll involve me hanging upside down now it's all in and it works um, but there is one main problem it's not a big problem but it is a problem and uh, it's wiring. Part of this rat's nest is my problem. You know, it's my fault. And I got it all mounted up there with zip ties and all that. And I got that for the most part all tucked in under there. Uh, I've got to fix that. But what the problem is, is that I'm overlaying wires on top of wires on top of wires. The police car had, when the cops had it, had several different wiring harnesses in it. And... A bunch of different power points and fuse blocks and whatnot there's like five separate fuse blocks in this car that ran different various functions so what you're doing is you're overlaying your own wiring harness more or less that you built on top of what was already there and it does start getting to be a little cramped from time to time depending on what you're doing but a lot of this is going to go away here soon but uh it's almost too much as you see, um, I've got to take the CB out and all that. This this whole rat's nest here. And, uh, well, see, this already is starting to pop out, so I'm going to have to fix that. And uh, I said I'm going to have to tuck this in and all that. So it's already starting to be a little bit of a problem, and I haven't even gotten out of the driveway yet. But this is what happens when you, you know, lay overlay a harness over another harness eventually as things heat up um, and the weather turns warmer and all that a lot of the wires will relax and they will heat up and they'll start drooping down and kind of fitting into where they belong but not at this point um, so let's get this garage closed and let's take it out on the road and see what happens I've got to go get me a diet coke I'm still on the John Daly diet all right, so we got a full tank of E85. We got that going. This is here. Let's get on the road and see what happens. So, so far it's working. We'll see if we can get anything locked in to the next car that comes by. It's kind of interesting. I have front and rear. So that works. It's actually got quite a range on it the car coming towards me doing 64 and a 55 so well, that's kind of interesting so yeah this is actually quite interesting uh, I had the other one and it didn't work um, but this one this one works and uh, I'm really glad the kid sold it to me just because well 
I've been looking for one, a newer one to replace the other one because I never could get the other one to work right. And the antenna fell apart and I'd have to take it apart and redo it. So we're going to play with this a little while longer and see what happens. So you might be wondering how the rear facing uh, antenna works. Well, you ever see the guy sitting on the side of the road facing in the same way as traffic? They can hit you from behind like that. Um, so they can be with the flow of traffic and not have to uh, and not have to turn around and face you. And uh, I mean, yeah, most of y'all figured that out, but that's what the rear facing camera does. It basically just turns it all around to 180. That way it, it's a safety feature. So the officer doesn't have to do a U-turn or anything like that. It just makes things a lot easier and safer for the officer. Some good news, it does not appear to be affecting the dash cam at all. So I'm happy about that. Believe it or not, at night, it's really not that bad. Um, it's been acting a little flaky. I'm not sure how it all works, but I need to really, uh, you know, check it out and test it, but, and learn it. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's been acting weird, so I think it needs to be calibrated or something, but it's, it's fun. So, as we wind this up, this was actually a pretty neat thing. Um, the uh, control panel is uh, really easy to see at night. Let me turn this light off and I'll show you. Got some neat stuff. We can focus. Um, we got lock. You know, it's all really easy to read. Uh, this is kind of neat. Let's hit the test button. I'll show you this. Focus. There we are. It sits there and runs through all the numbers. But it is a KA band, um, so that's kind of neat. That's pretty cool. Well, and the other thing, and I still have the strobes and everything hooked up too, so that makes it kind of fun. Yay! So as we wind this day up, you know, this is still here. It's for sale right now, though. I've had some people ghosting me and all sorts of the other usual stuff that happens on Marketplace. Um, Got to clean the garage up and get the Oldsmobile in. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. It was 65 degrees today. Anyhow, the radar detector, it was good. It actually really was good. And... I'm very pleased with how it worked. It's going to take some getting used to, getting too used to the nuances and all that, and I'm sure it's woefully out of calibration. Um, but that being said, it looks good there. It fits. Everything bolted up great. It went together a whole lot easier than I thought. The hardest part was just the final putting the whole unit up. And uh, like I said, I'm going to have to figure out something better for that. But that being said... Uh, I guess now we're going to put the cage in and that'll be going in uh, soon enough, um, but not this week, not this time. I have, a, so I have too many other things that need to happen right now and truthfully I need to make some more trucking videos, uh, but so yeah, the radar detector, it's a go. I'm really pleased with it. Like I said, I got lucky. I found the guy on Marketplace, sold it to me, along with uh, the cage and all that. So, like the other video said. But, so, with that, well, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Um, I guess I got some work to do tonight. And uh, so, I guess we'll see you next video. Y'all be safe out there.